Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can send quotes with optional items in form of a checklist for your signers in documents and contracts. Upselling can be a very profitable marketing strategy for your business. So you should definitely leverage that in documents and contracts. Therefore, clients are now able to select optional services along with the fixed ones inside your contract. Let me show you how you can do that. So first you want to navigate to payments on the left, then select documents and contracts at the top. And then either you create your own by clicking in the plus new button top right, or you select an existing one. We're going to select this one right now. And here's our demo contract. So in case you didn't know, you can add products to your contract. Simply click on the plus icon top left, add an element and drag and drop over the product list just like that. Now you have this new window popping up and you can click on the add an item button and then select a product from the drop down menu. Let's select this one. Let's select the price, hit add item. And here you can see our first item has been added. You can go ahead and add unlimited items just like that. By selecting each item on the right hand side, you have the opportunity to make this an optional item. By turning on this item, you give the primary recipient the option to deselect or to select the item, which means they don't have to purchase it. But if they want to purchase it, they can just check mark the box. Next up, you can also enable the quantity. If you are selling some sort of product which has a minimum quantity, you can put one, two or three, whatever your minimum quantity is and the maximum quantity you can deliver, let's say 10 in this case and hit save top right corner. Please note that it pulled the price which we prior set up under payments and products. But if you wanted to change the price, you can just manually do that here without needing to go into that products field. In case you want to add taxes to your products, you can also check mark this. Please note you need to set up these taxes beforehand under the payments and products section. Then depending on what kind of items your clients select or deselect, the total amount down here will be updated automatically depending on what kind of items your customer will add and how many of those items he or she will add as well. Now, let me show you how this looks like in real time. Click use template, click preview. And here you can see the document from a client perspective. Here you can check mark this item if you wanted to. Then go ahead and add your recipients by clicking on recipients in the top left corner. Click the drop down menu, add your recipient and click send top right corner, send via email. And the email has already arrived. Click view document from a client perspective. And here you can see that we can check mark the first item, but we cannot check mark the second one because we didn't toggle on the option for the second item. Click start filling out. And here we can also change the quantity. Let's say we wanted two of these items and then the subtotal automatically updates right here. Then here you can see the tax as well. And that's the total amount due. Let's hit finish. And then the document has automatically been signed by the client as well. And that's how easy you can send customizable quotes with selectable items. I will see you in the next video.